let us discuss lexical analyzer in this particular session. So, we shall do some ex examples so that your conception will get clear. What is a lexical analyzer? In a simple sentence, if you want to explain, lexical analyzer acts as a subroutine, also can be called as coroutine, which is called by the parser whenever it needs a new token. That means for the token recognition, we require this lexical, lex, lexical analyzer. Tokens can be of different types, might be a label, might be an identifier, might be some punctuation symbol, might be some logical operators, might, might be some uh, arithmetic operators, so, so many things, so, so many, so many different types of tokens may be there. Might be a keyword, begin, end, if, then, else, they are the keywords. So, in this way, the token analyzer will be playing its role to, to identify a particular item as a token type. Okay. Now, how does it um, analyze the token? That is a particular buffer, also known as input buffer. Here, we have kept one statement of the high level language program. And that is a pointer which is known as the token beginning. It is pointing to the token beginning because prior to that, we, we have recognized one token. So, the next token will be starting after that. So, that is the token beginning. Now, the another look ahead pointer will be there and it will proceed in this way. Character by character, it will proceed and it will check whether that is a delimiter or not. Delimiter will indicate end of a particular token. So, delimiter can be a punctuation symbol, can be one space, blank space or whatever it is. So, it will search for the delimiter. If it finds that this is a delimiter, that means there is a finite probability of finding one token up to the up to the previous character. So, it will it will retract, it will come back to the previous character and from the token beginning to this particular position, it will try to analyze it and it will try to categorize the token. So, in this way, the lexical analyzer will do the token analysis. So, also it is known as tokenizer. So, in this way it is working. So, input buffer is containing the program or the single statement. There is one pointer which is pointing to the token beginning and another pointer will be advancing. If it gets some uh, delimiter character, then it will come back, it will retract and now from the token beginning to this look at pointer position, there will be a token. So, it will recognize what is the type of the token. It might be a keyword, punctuation symbol and so on. Now, let us suppose for all programming languages, if you consider almost for all programming languages, variables can be containing some alphabets and numerals or digits or characters or letters, a variable can contain. So, it can contain letters and digits, but a variable name almost in all programming languages should be starting with some character. So, that is a very important one. So, each and every variable can start with a letter and after that it can have a letter or a digit. So, if you draw the uh, transition diagram for the identifier or the variable, it will be having the state transition diagram like this. So, there is a starting state that means I have not um, recognized any one of the characters from that variable name. So, it should be letter. If it is letter, then it will go to the state 1 and here we can have letter or digit in combination. Otherwise, a single letter can be one variable i, j, k uh, are the very good examples of variables or identifiers. So, the, after that letters or digits may exist and then if it finds one delimiter, then it will go to the final state. You know, the final state will be recognized by the double circles and initial state will have some inward arrow. So, that is my transition diagram for the identifier. But this diagram cannot be fit to a computer. So, obviously, this diagram against this particular diagram, I must be writing some program code. So, there is a transition diagram implementation through a programming code. So, you see state 0, it is a label, C is equal to get card, get card means it is reading one character. The character can be of the type letter, can be a digit or can be some other. So, now if letter C, that means if C this character is of the type letter, so, letter C will return true and false, boolean, it returns boolean data type. So, either it will return true or it will return false. So, if it finds that it, it is a letter, then it will return true, otherwise it will return false. 
So then go to state 1. Yes, if you get later, then from state transition will take place from state 0 to state 1. So then it will go to state 1. Otherwise, else fail. So I will be calling the fail function and that will handle the error handling routine. So now state 1 is this one. Now it will be reading the next character. It will be reading to the next character. Because one character has been read, so automatically the look at pointer has gone to the next character. It will be pointing to the next character. So C is equal to get card. So next character has been read. You know, if the next character is either a letter or a digit, that means we are in the right track. Otherwise, it will produce some error message. So now, if uh, letter C or digit C, here I should be putting or. So letter C or digit C, then go to state 1. That means I will be reviewing to the same state. So self loop is there. So I have written the code accordingly. Then go to state 1. Else, if delimiter C, if the C is of the type delimiter, that means some punctuation symbol, some space, some other uh, brackets are there. So it, it may take as a delimiter. So if delimiter, then go to state 2, then it will come to the state 2. Else, fail. That means recognition of this particular item as an identifier will fail. And then state 2, retract. Retract means I told you that look ahead pointer has gone to the delimiter. So prior to delimiter, the character or the, or, or the character prior to delimiter up to that will be having one um, identifier. So retract, so that is one function will be called. So look at pointer will come back for the one character and the return ID and install. What is ID? This token is of the type identifier. This token is of the type identifier and install means it will write the same in the symbol table. I told you earlier the symbol table is nothing but a data structure which will keep a trace of all the identifiers, literals and labels and so on. So return ID install. So now it will write on the, uh, the variable on that identifier on the particular symbol table and ID means it will be detected as an identifier. It, is, it has been detected as an identifier. So it will be installed that one and in this way this particular sample code against this particular transition diagram for the detection of an identifier can be written. So in this way the we are having one we will be having one say uh, uh, one table where the different tokens will get recognized say 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 your greater than greater than equal to less than and or begin if else end so, so many things. So we will be having one table where the all these tokens will get registered and later on this particular uh, this particular table will be the translation the compilation of the program will take place in the later phases because lexical analyzer is the first phase of the compiler. We had that article, we had that discussion earlier in our videos. So in this way, it will install it onto the respective token list. Okay. So this is the sample code, this is the transition diagram, how the token will get recognized by the lexical analyzer, what is the definition of lexical analyzer. So we have discussed this one. Please be with us because the next videos will be also on this lexical analyzer. Thanks for watching this one.